next Dawnbreaker combo where you you stun to set up the Dawnbreaker ult. You can Carapace to set it up. Um, rather different though from Puppy's side to have the Disruptor instead of the Maiden. A very aggressive support that capitalizes a lot on when you initiate. And for LGD, you gotta feel like you get an entry into the game, right? Whatever lineup you have. If you fall behind again, it's not a good look. Yep, as you're gonna see, an Impale come out from Zayas just to poke Y a bit. Uh, but like you said, the CM very different with the Disruptor now because, I mean, we saw early game, Puppy was farming, and guess what? Disruptor cannot do that at all. Uh, he can farm heroes, though, if he's able to find pickoffs here, just forcing Y back uh, to the tier 2 tower. Zayas TP's away now. So he's preventing the supports from. Like it was kind of. There was something about that draft that was a little bit surprising with the order. Um, Oh, what would have been so bad about Marcy in this link? Because she has a way to get away from... She does uh, have a way to get away as well, yeah. Oh, glimpse back, Starbreaker, but a lot of it's mitigated thanks to the Frost Shield coming out from Y. And it's not gonna... Oh, I was gonna say it's not gonna lead to kill, but that is more damage than I thought. First Blood ends up going to Puppy. Yeah. So Secret, despite losing in the CS and the outer lanes, able to get First Blood. A nice double stun from Zayas, but the Avalanche is gonna keep him in place. Spirit Siphon, and the Tree Toss is there. Jin Q gets credit for it. He's in the tower that he was prioritizing, and maybe the communication was Y saying, I'm fine, don't worry. Um, I'm, I'm speaking of case. Y, yep. take some heavy damage here, but here comes the pounce from Ame. Chrysalis, it's going to be another Jingu stack coming out for Ame. And Puppy basically out of oh, right now. Stuns. Yeah, but a Starbreaker coming out. It does connect onto the Lich, but the Thunder God's Wrath finishes off two heroes. So nothing to say, despite being kind of a wash in the mid lane, now has two kills to his name. It is one of those moments where you need to time it perfectly, because if you use it instantly, I don't think you have enough damage for Rizzo anyway, so you needed to use it delayed. Secret are trying to fight into this Exo. It's going to be running out relatively soon, so I'm trying to time that perfectly. Rizzo's going to show himself, though. If the fortification was already popped as Jin Q. Oh. They do get the D word one way or the other, but it will be a deny. As you can see, oh, nothing to say, taking a lot of damage. Actually, the heavenly jump on the other side, and he's just dead to Nisha. Big kill for Seeker as now they try to pursue. That was whoa, a rebound whoa, into what? a toss, which helps the unleash a little bit here. Impale's gonna connect onto one, but now Resolution has to be a little bit careful. Gets off the dispose, and there's the Sinister Gaze you were talking about from Y. They do find the kill on the support, but Resolution falls in the end. Oh. And a split earth just a millimeter off. And Nisha trying to oh, find some more value you said here. Millimeter, not inch. All right, Zinkus. Well, it was a millimeter. Inch is bigger than a millimeter. I don't know if you play with, with multiple setup stuns as Dawn. Thank you. Sir. And, uh, yeah. I will never call you that again, trust. <laughs> All right. Zayat. He's going to be spotted. Okay. Sinister Gaze is there. Resolution gets a nice stun off with his rebound. Looks like Y is mega dead. It's Faith Beyond coming from the low ground with that exorcism. Jin Q following out behind with a static storm inside that kinetic field. They're going to try to focus down the DP, but she's healing so much. Now Resolution, he is getting low. The earn charge applied. One last little damage proc there from the exorcism, and Faith Beyond gets credit for that. The urn as well will now be turned into a vessel. So this time around, LGD with the healing reduction. I think to say he's gonna do a nice job of dodging, but it doesn't matter. Chrysalis still has the damage. Boundless Strike connects onto two as Ame has come to play. But there, it careful that Thunderbolt if you're Zayats for that vision. Sentry there as well. They're gonna spot him. They're gonna try to burst him down. Thunder God's Wrath is there as well. Looks like Puppy's gonna survive his Solar Guardian coming in now. They're gonna focus all their efforts onto this Lich, and the Zeus dies as well, so nothing to say. Takes a fall. This is gonna be a third kill in this engagement, all for Seeker, and even a buyback coming out. Trying to not break the smoke onto the Nyx. This would be a huge pick if they found Nisha, but reading this like a book and not getting caught. Getting away with that ward. He might be the one that suffers, but again, it's gonna be a support potentially. He gets off the spike carapace though. Exorcism is popped. Does that mean they want to try to go for Roach? They're trying to take a fight. Faith Beyond finding Chrysalis, slowing him down with the Spirit Slower. Siphon, but the kinetic field blocks him off. And that might be all PSG LGD get, and that's a big cooldown that they have to take into account now. Oh, they might Faith even lose Q, their Tiny, too. Earth. Hammer's there as well. Down goes Tiny. Faith Beyond. He's here as well, but the Exorcism is running out. Resolution forced to fight despite the Spirit being applied to him. Oh my god. Big Lich ult onto two, and PSG LGD, despite being down in numbers at the start, end up taking this fight in space. Three for one, and Nisha. Q went phase boots and has just been quietly farming in the top lane for the last smoke. Or five PSG waves. LGD, Avalanche clips Resolution, toss back into the Sinister Gaze, but Nisha's coming with the Solar Guardian help as well. Resolution ticking out very slowly. Looks like he will fall. No, and she gets off the stun just in time with his Unleash, dispels the Urn Charge, and Jin Q looks like he's gonna fall as the Crystalist double kill comes out, but finally Resolution does fall.
So a little bit of a backwards engagement, but I think Secret will... This means Tiny's not participating in the side fight, where that avalanche could have made a huge difference. Resto all smiles. No, I'm not sure, but the toss, uh, I think it was bringing him closer, but the Sinister Gaze actually stopped him. Yeah, it stopped him mid-air, yeah. We're going to see a fight here, Faith Beyond. Doing a lot of damage, healing with the spirit side. Here comes the Wukong's command from Ame, trying to focus down Nisha. It's up the Bloodstone, but will oh, that be enough? Spirit side is still there. That's two for nothing. PSG LGD winning this fight, and now another Avalanche EQ looking for a target to toss. Oh, Chris was can't get to the low ground though. Has to walk away the old-fashioned way. Gets off the Starbreaker. Nice really connects onto Ame. Silence to follow. But it looks like this is going to be the death of the position. One for Secret as PSG LGD win a big fight here in the mid game. The fight in LGD's favor, no problem. Now Secret smoking up to the enemy jungle. Faith Beyond. They see him. Pretty far out. Yep. I moved himself to the other side. Might have missed out on the vision there. No, they saw him. Resolution with a nice rebound. Here comes the Solar Guardian as well with the Avalanche mitigating a lot of this right now. As Crystal is focusing down Jin Q for the time being, as Faith Beyond looks to be dead, just one more right click to go. So nice pick off for Secret. Oh, they found but Ame, next to his tier two tower, has to pop the BKB. Wukong's command to follow. Now there's no physical damage to go through this with that BKB activated. But they can try to continue on here once the BKB ends up running out. Why is going to take the front of the damage now from the Starbreaker? So Secret getting everything they want. Ame, the only one left in this area, looks like he does get away safely. That would have been just a disaster for PSG LGD, but still. Secret going to be extremely happy with what happened here. Getting that magic damage reduction as well. But that said, Nisha popping, or rather revealing a BKB in the coming fight could become massive for Secret here. From LGT, LGD in the pit. Exorcism already popped. Zayat is going to spot it. The Spike Carapace comes out, double and pale. Tiny's just dead right off the bat. And now the focus is on Ame. He goes down to the post, though, but no buyback for the Monkey King as well. He's going to get chased now by Nisha in a huge fight for Secret. We'll see if they can go into the pit and get this Roche, but the toss back from Jin Q. Avalanche is there as well. Resolution gets deleted, so maybe not with the numbers. Buyback now onto the Lich. Puppy, attempting to TP out. He'll be fine. Pretty damn impressive that LGD managed to salvage that. And down, Marcy can beat Monkey. Fight straight up. This is huge for Secret, though. I don't think, I mean, do LGD even Exo try this? is up in five. It's Faith too late. Beyond, yeah, looks this like it's too late. Awesome play call here from Secret to go for this. They know Tiny has no buyback. Oh, oh they're trying to jump Faith kill. Beyond. Frost Shield's going to keep him healthy for a little longer. Pops the BKB. Do they oh, have the physical damage stop. to go through? But Monkey King with the balance strike. Ame comes to play. Bash applied to resolution now, but the rebound onto the other side of the river. He'll be fine, but Nisha looks like he wants to try to fight. Gets off the Yule. Faith Beyond now on the outskirts of this fight. That is a dead lash, but that is just the Aegis. Exorcism still going. Zayats gets the impale onto one. But now they're trying to turn this around onto the Monkey King. There's the Starbreaker from Chrysalis, and that is the death of Ame. 50 seconds on the deck. And PSG LGD, they get the Aegis technically out of the hands of Secret, but it does cost them. And Nisha working on the Shivas next. Is it going to get outpost control in the PSG LGD jungle? Yeah, nice Ame. Makeup. Looking for the support, but Zayats is there to try to counteract this. Solar Guardian coming in as well. Ame pops the BKB along with Chrysalis, but Starbreaker deletes Y from the face of the map, and now they're inside Wukong's command. No bash. Have to get the hell out of there as Resolution. Looks like he's going to live. Uses the rebound to get a little bit extra distance. Zayats and company now focusing down Faith Beyond on the Death Prophet. Another valuable kill and another valuable fight for Secret. And they will try just that immediately now. No DP ults. They're actually going for a five-man offensive smoke with Faith Beyond the best ability. I mean, it's debatable. Maybe Spirit Siphon is his best ability, but, you know. <laughs> True. Uh, Puppy. If they want him, he's dead. They do. Okay, Avatar. Zayas wants to come in, though. They've lost Puppy already. He does have the buyback available. His Thunder God's Wrath is there. Looks like Zayas is going to barely limp away, but no, nothing to say there to finish him off. Now, Resolution, he's taking so much damage. The rebound onto the other side of the map again. Rezo is fine. 70 seconds of no nicks. Must have been a dieback technically. Uh, puppy. puppy. Static Storm. Okay. Yeah. Enough to take out Jin Q. Very cocky play from Puppy, but it kind of works out. But again, if they get the kill, this will technically be a dieback for him. Boundless Strike. And it looks like it will be just that. But there, there's no Roche to get. There's that glimpse buff. That's not a kill without the damage. 300 gold on Ami. Just get that Scotty. It's a really big game changer for them to get that unlocking. It's going to help them so much against the Lash as long as he gets to play the fight on the MK. Look how much they're covering him. It's like... Resolution with a double damage, oh, by the way. Nothing to say is dead. 
and it's not just several heroes now, two dead for LGD to just start out the fight. Another Starbreaker, but now Crystal's and company outside the Wukong's command to glimpse back on the Faith Beyond, and he is dead. Triple kill for resolution. There are all buybacks available for LGD, so she could have to be a bit careful with this. And why? He's gonna die inside his own base. He is the one lone member of LGD without the buyback at the moment. I mean, I mean a lot of time we think about like high ground defense, but when you're going high ground yourself, it's actually not too shabby as well. Avalanche here, Wukong's command expended. Is it just for Puppy though? Looks like it is for now as Nisha, he's perfectly fine to try to fight this out on the other side of the Wukong's command. Here comes a Solar Guardian as well. Faith Beyond is dead. Let the toss back onto Nisha, but now the Wukong's command is down. The BKB finally activate for Ami. He gets a big battle of strike. A lot of damage coming out from nothing to say. So they get the two supports in the end, but now nothing to say. He's the one getting pursued by Nisha. Split Earth connects. Pulse Nova continuing to go in again. The Age is still intact for Secret. Frost Shield not going to mitigate any of that magic damage, and the Starbreaker is enough. Another death for nothing to say, and two cores dead for LGD. Not, I mean, he's level 25. And toss back. Toss back, and something you have to be a little bit careful when he pops a BKB, and Jin Q is punished really hard. So this is gonna not connect thanks to BKB from Faith Beyond. That's the buyback now to Jin Q. That'd be careful because nothing to say is now available to fight. They're gonna try to turn this around as Resolution jumps in with his BKB, focusing down Ame, but the Wukong's command can get so much armor as Resolution gets destroyed. 80 seconds of no mercy. Another okay. pause for Secret as PSG LGD showing some life here. They find three kills with no reciprocation. Toss MVP. What is their abracer doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe someone's gonna. Oh. Uh, and if you get caught by a Scotty trail Speaking from Monkey. of Refresher, Ame yeah. does have one. Has it? Yep. And they are smoked up. Even after the nerfs, you can easily afford this if you go Scotty. It's something, especially we've seen Faceless Voids in the past go for as a build up to Refresher. Oh, oh he's he's gonna be the one that gets popped here, but pops the BKB very early. Gets off he's... the Slurra, trying to play around it, but the Jingo's about to proc here as well. It's the Wukong's command is there, and Nisha has to use the Yule on himself. But he's likely just going to be left alone, and he's going to be brought down. A huge kill for LGD. There are buybacks for both remaining members here from Secret. You really have to be on your toes against this team. Like, you have a big lead, sure, but this is the one thing that can't happen for Secret, is that thing. So, it is still well within reach for LGD to Absolutely. solve this. I mean, 11k at this stage is really not that I mean, if... If you play tight like this with Sentry Wards, it's a lot harder for Zayas to find the impact. Uh, very synced up on those Shivas there. Faith Beyond versus Nisha, but the BKB prevents the glimpse from being used. Oh, uh, Rezo's thinking. Oh, he's going. He gets the bash to start oh. things out, and Faith Beyond is evaporated here. And now they're going to get the Lich on top of it. Has to buy back. And we can see that Roche is available. I'm not sure if they're aware. And this is the one with the Aghanim Scepter. And this is going to be another Roche for Secret. And this is going to be nihilism, I would assume, onto Nisha. We'll see who ends up uh, taking the, the Agonist Scepter. Holding it on oh, Nyx, okay. Now. He's not used it, though. They don't have a Force stat. And on PSG? Yeah, that feels like an oversight to not have that item, right? I know you're playing against Glimpse, but you need some sort of way of getting out of Starbreaker, of getting out of... Oh, away from and Tail oh. and they're going to jump in. Solo Guardian coming in at the end. It looks like Bithia might drop inside the Wukong's command. And they have to just right, try to reset. And is gonna live thanks to the Eon Disc and just burrow his way back to full HP. The Jin Q is dead as well without buyback available. Now they just wait out the Wukongs. Oh, he got the oh, he's gonna again. go in again with Chrysalis' Starbreaker, decimating time and time again. But there's Ame's Refresher, Wukong's command to follow. Chrysalis eats the cheese, tries to get four stack, but not gonna live through this engagement. They did find Niche, okay. Gets off the Yule, but instantly canceled. Dude, that was a neutral <laughs> It's actually doing work. So they got the tower, but nothing more. Faith Beyond! Uh-oh. Inside the Static Storm. Remember, he can't use any items inside of it, and he's dead! 90 seconds of no death profit. Ame trying to get some revenge, but Resolution ends up using Rebound on the other side. Only one inside Wukong's command right now, but three dead for PSG LGD. And now Ame looks to be next. The Starbreaker is coming just for him. Specialty from Secret. He has to buy back instantly. Now Resolution with the Dispose, onto nothing to say, has to pop the BKB himself, but this looks like it might be the beginning of the end for LGD in this upper bracket. Rebound, not proc there, but again, Chrysalis with the Starbreaker. And this is going to be several sets of racks, if not potentially GG. Faith Beyond just disappears. It's like LGD want to access this high ground, and they're like, what hero can we send in first that can possibly survive? And 
he should be the choice, right? You've got heart. you have Heart, Shiva, BKB. He dies before he gets BKB off. He literally just gets killed 100 to 0. Even with Lich's protection, it wasn't enough. Oh, Zayat finds Ame. This is going to be a dieback for him potentially, and it will. Double Starbreaker GG is called, and Secret 2 0 PSG LGD sending them to the lower bracket. And they're going to face off against Thunder Predator. My goodness, I don't think anybody was expecting that potential matchup in the upper bracket, but. Wow, what a series from Secret. Yeah, my prediction so far, great. Zero out of two in the bracket, so that's... Uh...